Wa. Hallelujah. Karibu sana wherever you are. Welcome to our tonight broadcast ili tubarikiwe pamoja. Yes, we in Daniel chapter number 3, Daniel chapter number 3. Kwa hivyo karibu sana tubarikiwe. Tuangalie Daniel chapter number 3, Daniel chapter number 3. Wow, is another prophetic chapter. Another great and uh, prophetic chapter. Niambie uko wapi? Niambie uko wapi and help me to share tag your friend. Uh, Yoranda, <laughs> how are you doing? Help me to share, help me to share. Anaambia uko wapi? Aha, Mase Karen. Faith, na faith leo mfika mapema sana. Niambie uko wapi? Help me to share. Create a watch party. Wacha tubarikiwe tonight. Wacha tubarike. <laughs> Safan. Leo mengine mapema sana. <laughs> karibu sana. Help me to share. Karibu sana. Create a watch party. Create a watch party. Rufus. <laughs> we in Daniel chapter number 3 we in Daniel chapter number 3 a very interesting chapter there are some lessons we can learn from that chapter ah geta na geta leo mfika mapema sana yeah eh vaga mwa ragonia leo mfika mapema sana Daniel Macharia <laughs> praise god <laughs> Pieton how are you doing karibu sana karibu sana Get ready now. Is is it your mind or you go? Wow. You can tag your friend, you can create a watch party. Help me to share to those groups. We are in Daniel chapter number 3. We are in Daniel chapter number 3. Ah, net mugai. Karibu sana. <laughs> ah, yes, karibu sana, karibu sana. Tag your friend, share to your friend. Create a watch party. Ita mtu tubarikiwe. Neria Saurede ameingia kwa Meshia. God bless you. Joram. Ni mserewa huko number 1. <laughs> uh, Regina Waidaka. Ya yeah, create a watch party. Abida, leo mefika mapema sana. He ata ya 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 huko mapema sana. How is Saudi? Watu wa Saudi, watu wa UK nimewaona. Watu wa US nimewaona. Watu wa uh, Sweden nimewaona hapa. What about watu wa Greece nimeona hapa watu wa Israel are you here watu wa Germany yes watu wa Doha yes watu baharin ah you there watu wa South Africa nimeona kaunti zote hapa obedi karibu sana <laughs> watu wa Muranga are you there so help me to share create a watch party wacha tubarikiwe sege <laughs> praise god ah watu wa Seattle wameingia <laughs> Anton Mwangi how are you doing Ah uh, that ya goma najua kiingia kwanza anatag watu kama 20 alafu anashia haraka sana I thank God for this sister Kwa hivyo wherever you are wherever you are kama kwa ida Pietro na America eh na juice CK mepotea sana nitempa kanalinganga leo <laughs> Tuko ndani ya chapter number 3 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 Ezekiel moro niti watu wazima manaita Evangelist Michael haja kuja <laughs> Nimu sana soma wow <laughs> una double <laughs> wale una share the double nini flow of the anointing of God Catherine mere ngadogo karibu sana karibu sana Yeah if I would share share now if I would share share now this is the time This is a time. This is a time. This is a time. We ni maina karibu sana. Karibu sana. Evans Mungai anasema kwa from mmoja. Eh ni tie majerist Steven. <laughs> Pasamoridi. How is Zimman? Dominion power. <laughs> Obedi already have <a> share. <laughs> <laughs> I thank God some pastor ya kiingia hapo lazima atambie watu wa, wa share kabisa eh, prosperity amekuja hapa sijui kana kwamba ame share au bado <laughs> so we in Daniel chapter number 3 I have two minutes alafu we can pray tuanze pamoja get ready now get ready now Daniel chapter number 3 a very interesting chapter I tell you kuna mambo mingi sana tuyasoma pale bala mlongi for chapter number 4 <laughs> I'm wrong for Daniel chapter number 
Yes, Younes Macharia karibu sana. Oh, Ben, leo 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 maundo amefika mbele yako. Leo at least ameingia mbele yako, ameingia mapema sana. Ameingia if umeshare ya umeshare, nitangaza the grace of God. Aha. <laughs> yeah, maona gonia naita watu wa Kagodoini, watu wa Kalitu, wa Kalioni Thaiti, mutito wa kwapi? By the way, acha tuone hapa. <laughs> eh, hey, pasa mwenye watu wa Kambi. <laughs> Watu wa kambi <laughs> ni tu watu wa kambi. Eh, hey, share kwa hiyo group ya watu wa nini? <laughs> At least tubarikiwe pomo. I have one minute to go. One minute to go. Baza mimi nafanya kazi ya madam sana. Ni tu watu wa Kandara, ni tu watu wa Kandara kama Rois. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Nick the master, I have seen you. Marindi, umewaita. <laughs> Pasa mwenye nasema kwamba tagu watu kama <laughs> Oh, mwenye nyadaro bipi umepotea sana. Uli mimi umemiss session kama bili. <laughs> eh. Hey. Karibu sana. Tabitha have you shared? I have no shared. Naona hauja share. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Anaitwa Kags daughter. Karibu sana. So, get your Bible, get your Bible now we are ready to go. We are in Daniel chapter number 3. Daniel chapter number 3. Stesenoni, how are you doing? Ya yeah, tag watu watu wa hiyo area, wabi wakuja tubarikiwe pamoja na neno la Bwana. Tonight is so prophetic. It is so prophetic manake. Daniel chapter number 3. It is so prophetic. By the way, Daniel chapter number 3 is very interesting chapter. We see the victory of God. We see the deliverance of God. Woo! What you need just nimeona hapa. Karibuni sana. <laughs> Wow wow we can pray now so that we can go if how you share do it now do it now you can do it now wakati tunaenda ndani kabisa pale kwa neno la Bwana ah yeah mwenye ana already ame share eh hey. hey. masikini amesema kwamba hata toka hivyo lazima atagi mtu eh hey. ameita Karl Moridi Yes. Baba katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Asante baba kwa neema yako. Asante baba kwa nguvu zako. Ni wewe baba unatenda makubwa, ni wewe baba unatenda maajabu. Usiku wale umetuleta hapa baba utunenee. Una neno letu Jehovah God. Na baba lazima utanenea familia zetu. Lazima utanenea maisha yetu. Neno lako baba ni wewe, neno lako ni uhai. Neno lako baba lina nguvu, neno lako lina badilisha, neno lako baba linageuza na katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo tunatangaza wale ambao wanaingia, wale ambao watazidi kuingia. Baba watabadilishwa na wewe we declare let your deliverance flow Lord. Let your victory manifest. Let your presence manifest O oh God. Let your glory manifest and let your power manifest in a mighty way in Jesus mighty name. Tunatangazia shetani hana nguvu, shetani hana uwezo baba, ni wewe unatawala, nguvu zako zinatawala, uwezo wako unatawala, miujiza yako inaonekana. Hawa watu watabaki jinsi walivyo Bwana, maisha yao yanabadilishwa na wewe baba, maisha yao yanabadilishwa na uwezo wako Roho. Asante maneno baba neno lako linakomboa, neno lako linabadilisha mpaka watoto. Tunaliamini baba maneno tumeona likitenda makubwa, walio wagodo wa baba natangaza kupitia kwa hili neno, lazima wa tapona ambao hawana nguvu baba kupitia kwa hili neno lazima watapokea nguvu bwana wale ambao wameishiwa baba kupitia kwa hili neno lazima baba utawainua in the name of the lord jesus christ of god shetani hauna uwezo mipango yote ya shetani tumeiskata tunaita in jesus mighty name mipango yote ya illuminati tumeiskata tunaita in the name of the lord jesus christ but we declare hata kwa mataifa baba ni wanatawala hata kwa viongozi ni wewe unatawala bwana hata kwa governor zolo hata kwa president my father hata baba kwa mca hata kwa mpiza ni wewe baba unatawala na tuna 
prayer hakuna mipango ya masoneka hakuna mipango Jehovah God ya baboko zerebo shanda lalele hazopa ile mimaya haina nguvu but Jehovah God you are reigning oh Lord tumekataa cancer tumekataa hata covid 19 haina uwezo juu ya mili yetu haina uwezo juu ya familia zetu haina uwezo juu ya watoto wetu watoto wetu wamekomolewa watoto wetu wamewekwa huru watoto wetu wameinuliwa baba we speak the power of your word we declare the power of your word we declare the power of your word oh shohova god wana tawala shohova god na tena makubwa shohova god na tena miujiza tuwezie chini ya baba kwa nguvu zako roho mtakatifu bwana uko ndani yetu sema na mioyo yetu sema na mawazo yetu sema nasi tunene bwana tunene usiku ale have mercy upon us oh badilisha baba mawazo yetu badilisha baba mioyo yetu kupitia kwa neno lako baba ni asante manake wewe ni wa ukweli baba wewe si uongo ahadi zako ni za milele baba ni za amina ndani yetu na tunaamini kwamba zote zina baba zinatimia na zimetimia kupitia kwa kazi ya msalaba kuna kile ambacho baba tunatangaza usiku leo ya kwamba baba lazima biashara zinasimama wale bwana hitaji ma customers i call customers from all corners wale bwana hitaji connections all i call connections from all corners wale bwana hitaji kwa leo baba kawape watu bwana wao hitaji baba to fulfill their destiny and their purpose in chi za smart name asante kwa maana baba umetenda na umetimiza katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na hata kuamini amen and amen and amen karibu sana ili tubarikiwe pamoja Daniel chapter number 3 ndani hiyo chapter number 3 it is our prophetic chapter tonight our prophetic chapter tonight na kuna lessons tunasoma mahali pale na ibrief kwa na baba Mungu atazidi kutunenea kwa jeki majabu sana so wale ambao mnaingia karibuni sana tunaanza asante kwa wale ambao wame create watch parties pale asante kwa wale ambao wame tag watu asante kwa wale ambao wana share may the grace of god flow in your life and i declare you will never lack in your life mwanake you are preaching this gospel you sing your page you are preaching this gospel you sing even your wall na kuna mtu ambaye amebii hana nguvu kuna mtu ambaye amebii kuna fikiria kujiua and through this word atapata nguvu na atapata uhai i believe kuna mtu ambaye hajaokoka and through this gospel ata receive that word na ataokoka na maisha yake abadilishwe in jesus name so karibu sana watu wote na tubarikiwe pamoja in the name of jesus christ and i promise you tonight lazima baba atatenda yeah jerry mikora sawa you doing karibu sana <laughs> daniel chapter number 3 Daniel chapter number 3 Daniel chapter number 3 get your bible Daniel chapter number 3 Daniel chapter number 3 we are there Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja Daniel chapter number 3 Yes Daniel chapter number 3 verse number 1 Verse number 1 the bible says Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubics and breadth there of six cubics he set it up in a plain called dora in a province of babylon verse number 2 nebuchadnezzar the king sent to ge- to gather together the princes the governors the captains the judges the treasurers the counselors the seraphs the seraphics oh, mm-hmm. and all the rulers of the provinces to come to dedicate the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up verse number 3 then the princes the governors the captains the judges the treasurers the counselors the seraphics and all the rulers of the provinces we are gathered together and to dedicate and to the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up and they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up take of what vizuri sana hapa look at verse number 4 then then a herald cried aloud to you it is commanded all people nations and languages that at what time she had the sound of the cornet of fruit hump and suck but aha na kuni tegea before tuendelee hapa maana it is very important 
Wada ba tulikuwa na hapa jana tuliagalia Daniel chapter number 2. Daniel chapter number 2. Na after Daniel chapter number 2 we have Daniel chapter number 3. Na tukona kwa Daniel chapter number 2 Nebukadneza aliona image na kwa ile image kuna kichwa cha gold tukasema kwa kile kichwa cha gold kina picture Babylon Rangu nisikize then tukona kwa kuna mikono na kifua cha silver silver ina picture Mecopasia mid and Persia then tukona sema namna gani ya kwamba we have brass we have brass brass kwa sema namna gani ina picture Greece Then migu iron and clay in a picture room then kuna ten toes kuna that image Nebuchadnezzar Ariona then between Daniel 2 and Daniel chapter number 3 ni kama miaka 20 to 23 years tagunitege so wakati sasa kuna recording ya Daniel 2 and Daniel chapter number 3 ni miaka 20 to 23 years imepita Then after 20 to 23 years Nebuchadnezzar kwa mawazo yake I brief akiongozwa na shetani akafikiria kwamba Indura anaweza tengeneza image takamiti kisikize kwaweza nikwambia kitu so in Daniel 2 there's an image and in Daniel 3 there is an image but is image ni tofauti in Daniel 2 ni image Mungu ameonyeshana in Daniel 3 ni image Nebukadineza ameiweka yeye mwenyewe. Naangu nitegee. In Daniel chapter number 2, the image ilikuwa no gate ya government. But in Daniel chapter number 3, the image ilikuwa ni religious. Ilikuwa ni religious. Hakonielewe. Ilikuwa ina husu mambo ya kuabudu. So ni tofauti sana. And it is very interesting. Maana Nebukadineza amefikiria ya kwamba atengeneza image na image ile anatengeneza ni ya gold. Hiyo <laughs> atakuanzia kichwa paka miguu ni image ya gold. But remember image ambayo ilionyeshwa eh hey, alikuwa kichwa cha gold. But akaona hapana, hapana. Sifai kuwa na kichwa tu cha gold. Nimetengeneza image inaongea kuhusu mimi. That's why nitengeneza urefu wake ni cubic 60. Alafu nisikize. <laughs> Ah 60 by 6 cubics and remember number 60 in the bible it is speaks of pride pride number 6 is a number that speaks of man or weakness kwa hivyo ile image yake inaonyeshana maringo yake anataka aonekane ni yeye peke yake and I set up an image can you listen to me and I set up an image in dura the name dura means dwelling or habitation so and I set mahari pale anaonyeshana kwamba na jinua anakataa prophetic words zile baba ametamka yeye anasimamia kichwa cha gold but amesema hapana it is not about kile Mungu ameongea na set image now na hii image kila mtu remember this time nebukadneza anatawala 127 nations akunitegee 127 nations so nakatangaza kwamba kwa kila taifa lazima ile image Ah what we in amie that's why arita governors arita councillors from the, all those 127 nations hiyo image am i set akasema kwamba lazima hiyo image follow me closely in amie but i then go nilisema jana hapa that was a false image man we have jesus christ who is a true image of invisible god Mha Jesus Christ is a true image of invisible God. So if we have seen Jesus, you have seen God. Takonisikize. If you have seen Jesus, you have seen God. Manaka he is the image of the invisible God. But Nebuchadnezzar anatengeneza image, false image. What we are budu? But I thank God had to bow before false image to na bow before Jesus who is the true image of God. <laughs> And when I see Nebuchadnezzar akitengeneza a false image 
kile kinaingia kwa my mind ni tem antichrist wakati kanisa itaondolewa hapa ni tem antichrist atatengeneza image again kwa tempo na watu wa yabudu so nebukadnezar brief this time anaongozwa na shetani vile shetani still ataongoza antichrist a set image kwa tempo Nisikize a set image kwa tempo ili watu wainamie the same way here Nebukadnezar ameweka image image <laughs> ili watu wainamie ha <laughs> oh, I thank go but I thank go manake arita group kama nane za viongozi then akaleta nisikize <laughs> kila vitu vya kutumiwa na nyimbo zilikuwa ni kategori sita instrument category sita za nyimbo kwa sababu nyimbo zitatezwa before false image alafu kukatolewa amri ambaye hata inamia ile image false lazima tauliwa all atawekwa tauliwa kwa kuwekwa kwa moto follow me now and this story is very interesting that's what happened image ikawekwa dura then tarbeta zikapulizwa Nyimbo zikatezwa kukasema kana kwamba lazima kila mtu ainamie ule mfano that image na watu watu wakainama bana nataka unisikize baba nasema Australians Australians div anavinasema Australians I believe walikuwa nafuatana na kina Daniel <laughs> na kina Hanania Mishaeli na Azaria maana kibi nasema kwamba Australians Nataka unisikize na unifuate. Angalia hiyo Bible vizuri sana hapa. Nataka ku summarize alafu nikupe lessons. Angalia verse 8. Verse 8. <laughs> At that time some astrologers, some astrologers <laughs> came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, "O king, live forever." Verse number 10 You have issued a decree O king that everyone who hears the sound of the horn flute zither, zither lay and harp pipes and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of God Nisikize uh-huh. and wh- whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into a blessing furnace Verse number 12 but Remember ni akina nani wanaambia mfalme they are astrologers do you know why astrologers wanatafuta kina Shadrach Mesha kana Abednego ni kwa sababu in chapter number 2 waliaibishwa <laughs> miungu yao ilishindwa wakati hawa watu walioba kina Daniel Shadrach Mesha kana Abednego Mungu akawapea revelation of the dream of the king then Daniel akaenda na interpretation of the dream Australians and Amadeshians waliibika sana but in chapter number 3 Australians wakao wanatafuta akina Meshach imagine wakao wanatafutwa wakaona kwamba wakati kumepulizwa sauti hawakuinamia image maneka there is no way wagainamia image maneka walikuwa wanajua kwamba hiyo image ni false walikuwa wanajua kwamba there is only one ambao wanajua na ni Mungu so hawangekubali kuinamia mifano hawangekubali kuinamia miungu they refused Australians wakawastaki <laughs> wakasema kwamba mlitushinde in chapter number 2 in chapter number 3 tunataka sasa tumfuate tutamweza lazima mtauliwa Australians vote ya kwamba this is the end of these guys Australians were fikiria this is the end of them yes they prayed in chapter number 2 wakatushinda but in chapter number 3 tutawafikia tutawaweza lazima watakufa they reported that ha 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 but they decided hawaita na hawata inamia image ambayo sasa ni false maana kwa wanajua the true image ha 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 sasa very interesting and from there bibili nasema namna gani walipelekwa in fact mfalme alikasiri sana akakasirika sababu kama walete wakaitwa wakapelekwa mahali pale wakapewa chance wakaulizwa ni ukweli ya kwamba hamuinami hamuni hamuni heshimu unjua kama hawa watu wa genocide ya kwamba wainame tu alafu wabaki tu ati ndani yao wanajua Mungu but wainame tu 
Waonekana wa mainama. But he said no. Hatuta inamia miungu. Hatuna ita hata akakatana wakakataa. Can you hear this pastor Moridi? They decided that. They refuse to inamia false image. Ha <laughs> Mfalme alipoa tumandia wakaenda. Wakabu kobo wacha nione kana kobo ni kweli. <laughs> Mfalme akaita watu wa bonu wa kupuliza. <laughs> Akina tarubeta futu akapuliza. And hawakuinama. Walikataa kuinama. <laughs> they said no, we cannot bow to an idol. Atuwezi inamia. Yes, hata ikiwa tuwekwe ndani ya moto, wacha tuwekwe. They decided that. I like these guys. Naupenda sana. Mfalme kawambia, hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza muokoa. <laughs> Every imagine, mfalme amesahau. Nebuchadnezzar after 23 years amesahau. Yakob God of heaven, nisikize. Alisaidia Daniel ku interpret dream after 23 years amesahau. Yakob kuna Mungu ambaye anaweza kuomboa. Sasa nawaambia namna gani hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza mkomboa nikimweka kwa moto hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza mkomboa hivyo ndivyo aliwaambia angalia ba, vile bebo inasema <laughs> i like that verse number 15 verse number 15 mfalme aliwaambia hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza muokoa that was a thing hakuna but i thank god kwa kile ambacho waliambia mfalme yakoba mungu ambaye tunamtumikia Mungu ambaye tunamtumikia ana uwezo wa kutuokoa. Yes, mfalme, in accordance to your words. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kutuokoa. Bali kuna ye Mungu ambaye tunaserve ana uwezo wa kutuokoa. Let me tell you before, ni foundation mzuri. Itangaza kwamba kuna Mungu ambaye anatuokoa kwa issues. The same way Mungu alituokoa kwa tambi. The same way Mungu alitulipia dhambi kwa msalaba. The same way Mungu ah, Eh, hey, alifanyika binadamu, akafa kifo chetu. Kile kifo kilikuwa ni cha Kefas, akafa kama Kefas. Na kufufuka Kefas akafufuka the same God who did that. Ambaye alitukomboa kwa dhambi is the same God anatukomboa kwa taabu, anatukomboa kwa vita, anatukomboa kwa issues. Na rauni yelewe hapa. So akasema kwamba God ambaye tunatumikia ana uwezo wa kutukomboa and I have a word for you Mungu ambaye ako ndani yako si ati yako heaven to no 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 Mungu ako ndani yako sasa ana uwezo wa kukuokoa kutoka kwa magonjwa hey, hey. ana uwezo wa kukuokoa kutoka kwa covid ana uwezo wa kukuokoa kutoka kila issue unapitia they declare that ya kwamba na uwezo kutuokoa. Yes, kuligana wewe mfalme, hakuna. They, wa, they wanted to show to the king ya kwamba kuna haya ambaye anaokoa. And I have a word for you. Kuna haya ambaye anaokoa. Kuna haya ambaye ameokoa. <laughs> kuna haya ambaye anaokoa na atazidi kuokoa. He did it, he doing it kabisa. Anazidi kufanya haya mambo. Yeye ni Mungu. They declare to the king that ambaye tunatumikia ana uwezo kutuokoa but wa capacity statement vizuri sana hata kikosa kutuokoa still hatuta inamia woo hey, hey. hata kikosa kutuokoa still hatuta inamia hii miungu they declare that hata wakifa ndani ya moto ah ni mwili utakufa They are hawezi kufa roho. They trusted in God. Hawakuogopa maskari, hawakuogopa mfalme, hawakuogopa moto. Wakati mfalme alisikia hivyo, moto uliongezwa mara saba. Hey, hey. Woo! <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Moto ukaongezwa mara saba. <laughs> Ili waogope, but hawakuogopa. They were ready to face the fire. Can I tell you? Tunajua sisi ni kina nani in the kingdom. We are sons in the kingdom. We are kings in the kingdom. We are in Christ in the kingdom. Nothing can harm us. Hello. Na Bible inasema kwamba wanaume ambao walikuwa na nguvu wakawaweka ndani ya moto. Imagine. Wakawaweka ndani ya moto. Ah, but before wake ndani ya moto waliwafunga mikono yao 
kwa kabisa kwa kabisa wakawaweka ndani ya moto and the bible says walipowekwa ndani ya moto mfalme akachungulia akaona au dhoo walikuwa wamefungwa na kamba zile kamba zimekatika mark that zile kamba zimekatika zile kamba zimeofunga zimekatika and they are walking in the fire and they are not alone they are having another person by the car son of god <laughs> wana mtu mwingine mtu wa nne walitupo pale wakiwa watatu but wakati mfalme aliangalia akaona kwamba there are not three kuna mwingine ambaye ame manifest kuna mwingine ambaye anaonekana kwa fire pamoja na wao ambaye sasa is the fourth man in the fire Hey, hey, hey. Can you listen to me? There was a fourth man in the fire. They saw another man in the fire. Oh my god, can I tell you something? Nebuchadnezzar you the fourth man. Akaona <laughs> kwamba hawa watu litupo watatu, but there is another man and they are walking there. Na si tuliwafunga, hawajafungwa na hawachomeki. Wako kwa moto na hawachomeki. They are not alone. They have another man about the son of God. Ivo ni vile sema. Mara wao tunikredit tonight before hata nianza mahubiri. Sijaanza mahubiri. Nakupia hiyo story you understand. Alafu nianze ku drive lessons from there. Taka unisikize nao. <laughs> they saw the fourth man. And I breathe. Man the Bible speaks of one person Jesus Christ. And I believe the person ambaye alionekana mahali pale was Jesus Christ. Although by them farme Nebuchadnezzar kuja kusema kwamba ni angel alikuja I believe the person ambaye alipia pale was Jesus himself alikuja maana as long as walisimama na neno la Mungu as long as we trust in God Jesus Christ came and fell in the fire hey, hey, hey. akajionyesha mahali pale the fourth man appeared in the fire and I want to declare in that situation may you see Jesus kwa covid 19 may people see Jesus they saw the fourth man they saw Jesus mfalme saw Jesus it comes a time baba anataka watu waone Jesus nataka nitangaze no matter vile dunia inapitia no matter ya magodo yako they will see the fourth man they will see Jesus Manake hatufai kuwa na magonjwa kwa kila situation Jesus lazima aonekane. Manake chochote kinakuja kwako it is for your benefit. <laughs> ah. Hello. I want to declare in your life they are going to see Jesus. Hey. <laughs> Shetani na zafikira kwamba ameangamiza wewe but hawezi. They will see Jesus. Can I tell you? Uh, but um, although to fika hapo hata nikupea point moja, maana ke wewe na kina Sada Kamisha kana Bednego, wewe ni tofauti. Hapo nisikize. Maana ke nao you <laughs> you are carrying the fourth man. That man that appeared in the fire. You are carrying that man. You are inside that man. So kwa kila situation you are in Christ. Christ is not there. He is not coming. Can you listen to me? He is not coming. He is with you always. He is in you and you are in him. Are we together? So ako uko ndani yake. So kwa kila situation unafaa kujua kwamba si ati anakuja Mungu kuja anatoka wapi ako ndani yako na wewe uko ndani yake so kwa, wakati kuna covid 19 you are in Christ so covid 19 ikija kwako itakuta Christ Christ ako pale pamoja na wewe you need to understand that now from that story there are so many things we can learn there hey Hello, hello nisikize now. My good God. Taka tuangalie. Kitu cha kwanza unafaa ku understand kwa that story. Hao nisikize. Kitu cha kwanza unafaa ku understand kwa that story. Kuna accusers. You need to understand the accusers. Astrologers ni wao wana accuse. Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. Hakuna nisikize. 
Na ni vyema sana nikukumbusha kwa bibi na jukumu kuna watu ambao wamefutwa wametufuatilia leo na hawakuwa pamoja na si jana. Kuna watu ambao wali ya kius. Shadra kemisha kana bed nego. Understand that. Kuna kiusas. Na do you know ni nini kina kuwa kius? Ni sheria. Daro accuses you. <laughs> I know there's an be a pastor pastor Satan is our accuser. Yeah, but listen to me. Anatumia sheria kwa kiusu watu. But anasahau you are not under the law. You need to understand that. So there was a accuser na accuser ni astrologers. Astrologers wamekuja kwa accuser nani? Hanania. Who is Hanania? Grace of Jehovah. How can you accuse the grace? How? Grace will always prevail. In an accusation, grace will prevail. Can you hear this? So, Australia when I accuse Hanania, grace of Jehovah. Australia when I accuse Nani, Azaria, help of God. Imagine how then Australia when I accuse Michelle, who is Michelle? Who is like God? Ah, watu watatu wame connect. Naguni elewe. Watu watatu wame connect. The grace of Jehovah, who is like God, and the help of God, wame connect. They are from the tribe of Judah. Taka unisikize. They are from the tribe of Judah. Meaning, they are in the right age of Jesus Christ. And for your information, let me go deeper. For your information, ukisoma kwa Bible, even kwa Old Testament, watu wa mwako kwenye rain, watu wa mwako mebeba the seed of Christ, kwa Old Testament, hakuna rana inatawara kwa hao. Hakuna ishu zina, zina waweza, maneka the seed Christ, ana wapiga niya. So they are from the tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah, mahari Jesus atatokea. Imagine, so they are in the lineage of Jesus. You need to understand that. Nani watatu, grace, who is like God and help of Jehovah. Watu watatu, Australians waka wakius. Waka fikiria kwamba waka wakius. Watauliwa. Mana kwa likataa. Kwa budu miungu. So, kwa nini Australians wali wakius. Australians wali wakius kwa mabu matatu. Wali wakius kwa mabu matatu. Haka unitege. Number one. Haha. No regard for the king. They have no regard for the king. No regard for the king. That was the accusation. No regard of the king. That's the number one. Alafu wakastakiwa. They serve not our gods. Hawa budu miungu yetu. Hawa kuheshimu na hawa budu miungu yetu. That's it. Then number three. They do not worship the image. They are not worshiping the image. They are not worshiping the image. They do not serve our God. Na hawa na regard ya konfarme. Accusation tattoo. Zito lewa kwa hawa watu. Can I tell you? I believe hata kwa maisha. Do you know kuna watu mbo huwa na kuwa kings? Kwa mwana mibiri to mbo mahali kwa biyashara. Ajwa kwa mawewe kivuva kwa mana ulitomua hapa Watakuwa kius, watakustaki kwa mkubwa Remember, shanda kemisha kena badnego Wamepo promosho na king So, uyu ni bossu wao Na wanastakiwa kwa boss Na wale otomua mawastaki Walikuwa mengangana na wao, chapter 2 Na watomua na wastaki wanafikiria Wakiwa staki That's the end of them But let me tell you We have Jesus Christ Who is our advocate I know kuna watu wabona nisikiza Na umestaki wa mahali unafanya kazi Wacha nikuja sasa kwa revo yako hapa I know kuna watu wabona nisikiza Na kuna watu wabona wame kusema mamaya I know kuna watu wabona nisikiza na kuna watu mbona they are against you kama vile Australians they were against Akina Shadrack 
Na wanasema mama mbaya juu yako. Mfalme hata hangejua kana kwamba Shadrack au Mainamia miungu au hauko inamia. But walistakiwa wakifikiria kwamba wakiwastaki watu wamaliza. Hehe. Mungu akaingilia kati. And let me declare anybody ambaye ananisikiza na kuna watu ambao they are against you. Don't fight them. God is going to fight your battle. The battle belongs to you. It is about God. Ni Mungu atakupigania. Kwa toboa na kuinukia. Ni Mungu atakupigania. Nataka nitege hapa. Listen to this. You see, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego wakisema inamia miungu kwa sababu kuto inamia miungu Waka potesa their position. I remember, wamekuwa promoted na king. Listen to me. Wamekuwa promoted na king. So wali sipo inamia ile miungu wakiogopa iyo position iwaponyoke. But I thank God for them. They knew kwamba iyo position it is not about the king. It is about our God. Wali tukupa hii position si mfalme ametuweka hapa hapana ni Mungu ametuweka hapa and let me tell you don't be afraid to serve God because of your position usiogope boss kwa maana boss anakuambia kwamba nitakufuta hii kazi usipolala na mimi let me tell you hiyo position ni Mungu amekupea Mungu ni yeye na promotions so Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego wagiogopa tumepo promotion na king hata tupokonya hii promotion Fadhamu angesema namna gani tutafanya hakuna watu wanaona but they feared God they had God ambao walikuwa naamini they had God ambao walikuwa na serve wakaja kwamba tupoteze hii kazi tuambie turudi kwa nyumba hatuta inamia miungu hatuta haya ya 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 i'm wrong to see watu ambao wanasema hivyo wanasema kwamba i don't care kana kwamba hii kazi Nitambua niache but hakuna kitu ambacho kitanizuilia ni preach Kristo hakuna kitu ambacho kitanizuilia nisimame na Mungu Araiki, hello somebody hata ukiniambia kwamba hii kazi utaacha better niache hiyo kazi but i remain faithful to my god that's it how many people <laughs> lako angalie so kuna Australia so they accuse our watu kwa sababu walikuwa na watafuta wakawapata wakaanza kuwaingilia kuwastaki kuwasema mabaya kama vile hata hapa ni hivyo kunafanyika kuna maadui ambao wanafanya hivyo but but Shadrach Meshach na Abednego hawakusikilia position hawakusema kwamba because of this position tumepewa wacha tuiname tu they declared whether to potesa kazi we are going to serve god they declared that walikuwa najua mungu vizuri walisema kwamba hii promotion ilikuja si kwa sababu alikuwa anataka kutupea ni kwa sababu still daniel ali interpret dream <laughs> ah. na katuombea kasema kwamba tuinuliwe it is by the grace of god we are here it is by favor we are here so hawakuwa na ogopo watapokonywa position walisimama na Mungu ambaye anapeana positions can i tell you ni Mungu anapeana positions and let me be clear kwa NMP listening to me ni Mungu anapeana positions let me be clear to MCS ni Mungu anapeana positions don't extend god na mambo ya dunia you cannot compare the two Shandra kali sema kwamba if ni position what are you knock but we remain serving God but there are so many people today wanasema hapana pasta i need money i need money wacha hapa tu eh wacha tu hapa niongee tu uongo ni ndaganye niingie hii kazi imagine father mo wakafanya hivi wanasema kwamba nitatubu <laughs> si nitainamia tu sikuelewa alafu ni repent <laughs> Hello. Are you telling me that you truly are not But he said no way. The same God 
Am I to pay to pay a position? The same God. Am I to, to protect? Na hivyo ndivyo naambia mtu bana nisikiza. Whether whether uko Kenya, whether uko Greece or US, ni Mungu amekuweka hapo. Don't fear watu wa Bwana kustua. As long as Mungu ay 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 amekuweka hapo, hakuna mtu ambaye anakutoa in the name of Jesus. That's it. As long as Mungu amekupea hiyo biashara, hata wakigustaki, wakisema utabombolewa, as long as baba amesema hii yako, wasema kama kuna mtu mwingine atapewa, as long as you trust in God, lazima baba atapigana vita vyako. That's what they did. And I thank God for them. <laughs> ah yeah yeah. What is the image? First image. Nebuchadnezzar ameifanya. Atutainamia sisi. That's it. Whether kazi ishe hatutainamia sasa. We are going to serve God. We are going to worship God. Tuko Babylon. Na hata hapa tumefika. I believe for kumbuka Daniel 1 vile Mungu aliwapigania. I believe for kumbuka Daniel 2 vile Mungu aliwapigania. Wakati huko hata Daniel 3 hapa the same God ambaye amatupigania chapter 1 and chapter number 2. Chapter number 2 there was a decree of death tulikuwa tuuliwe Mungu ataku akatuokoa kutoka kwa kifo. Chapter number 1 tulikuwa tupewa chakula mbaya tukakataa Mungu akatupea favor tukapendeka tukawa na afya. So as I come the same God twice ametenda makubwa hata hii mara ya tatu lazima atafanya na wacha anybody ambaye ananisikiza baba anapiga nia watu wake baba anapiga nia sisi let me tell you regardless kila watu wanasema and Christ hawezi kuja hapa na nitarudia and Christ hawezi kuja hapa kanisa ikiwa hapa case closed that's it na wacha nirudie Huenda wajaribu namba yao auweziweka namba kwa Kevas na Kevas ni already marked. How 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 how? So this is you don't be afraid. Whether kuna COVID-19 don't be afraid. I know kuna agenda mbaya I agree. But I will tell you hatutabudu miungu mingine. We know Jesus who died for us. We know Jesus who is our wisdom. We know Jesus who is our power. We know Jesus who is our righteousness. He is fighting for you. He is our victory. Anytime you pray, anytime you speak, anytime you declare things, lazima zita manifest in your life because Christ is your victory. Na kwa haya mambo, he is your victory. Hakuna namba inawekwa kwako azarabako malade za kanda you are the mark you cannot be marked twice case closed sala <laughs> ah ah wakuja na agenda zao <laughs> ai And I'm going to this bit of woga. Yule ambaye baba hajatagua Kenya, hawezi tawala Kenya. Yes. Zobo shakata Ramazanda. I declare once again, jura baba, baba hajatagua Kenya, hawezi tawala Kenya. And I want to declare this bit of woga. Hakuna Masonic na hakuna Illuminati atatawala Kenya by the grace of God in Jesus name. That's it. Hawezienda kwa bahari utaware. No, no. Ni Mungu anainua. Even Daniel chapter number 2, Daniel alisema hivyo, ni Mungu huwa anainua. <laughs> so, can you say don't be afraid? Kwa ni strong. Maana kwa hiyo baba tunatumikia na nguvu. Musinamishwe chini na COVID-19. Musinamishwe chini na zile ripoti nakuja. Niliona ripoti ya kwamba Kenya watu kama 1 million 42 million. <laughs> ya kwamba 42 million. Eh? Imagine what Ay 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 ay. Yeye mliona uni mimi niliona. Tunaambia kwamba hawa watu watakuwa positive. But I want to declare this. When the report imetoka hivyo, hiyo ni report imetoka na watu wa dunia. There is another report from heaven. We are covered by Christ. We are protected by Jehovah God. That's it. 
Let me tell you, uko hapa duniani na assignment and you cannot die before you fulfill your purpose. Na unisikize, watu watakatifu wa kufi, they don't die, they sleep. We don't die, we sleep. <laughs> Ay. I don't go home at the They were not afraid of the king. They were not afraid of the fire. They knew their God. They trusted God. They were ready hata wakiwekwa ndani ya moto. They were not afraid of the fire. Can I tell you? We are not afraid of reports. We are not afraid. Hata tuambiwe ni kila mtu atakuwa positive, we are still not afraid. <laughs> Woo! Hey! hey. Hiyo ni report ya binadamu. There is another report. There is another report. Anytime you read Bible, you see the report of God. Hey, you have an assignment. You must preach Christ. That's it. That's it. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Taka unifuata vizuri sana tuangalie. So now, look at this. Look at this and listen to me now. Taka unisikize. Muhimu sana. Taka unitege. They decided. They decided. Wao enyewe. Wakamua. There is no way. Watainamia hiyo miungu. And listen to this. Maneka this one is very very important. There was a false image. Na the same way Nebuchadnezzar mefanya. The same same way Antichrist akija atafanya. Alamini kire this. Antichrist akuji kanisa ikiwa hapa. Tanudie. Antichrist hakuji kanisa ikiwa hapa. We don't have vision Antichrist. We are already sanctified. We are set apart. Sisi hatuwezi. We carry the DNA of God. We are created in Christ. Akida, the same when Nebuchadnezzar is set image, what we inamie, the same way Antichrist ataweka image watu wa yabudu revelation 13 so vile nebukenezari weka image the same way at christ ataweka image watu wa yabudu sisi tutakuwa hapa kwa tumeenda the same way watu wanawekwa kwa moto the same way watu watakuwa na uliwa wasipo abudu pale But I thank God. 127 missions ziko mahali pale. Watu watatu walisimama. Sema no way. No way. No way. Hao ni skizan unitegee. Vizuri sana. Walipopea no report. Yakobo amekataa kuinamia. Walipopea kopere ya mfalme. Mfano mkakao anataka kuja ukweli kana kwamba is this true or not wamekataa wakaambua kwamba mna chance ya kuinama una chance ya kuinama maana kuna mambo nisikize kuna mambo tunakataa dhambi haina power juu yetu kuna mambo nao because our nature the nature that we have is a nature of god na sio tuna power the grace of god ili tusaidie kusema hapana kwa mambo mayo sio ya rasha tukusema hapana to all ungodliness ungodly things yana mambo mbaya grace of god na tusaidie kusema hapana mambo ya kidunia pana so kuna mambo mbaya right now ate akija tuyasema now we cannot bow that's it cannot bow that's why we kata and now so we have power nisikize if akina shada kamisha kinamba ndogo walikuwa nasema kwamba they cannot bow and now they were not in christ and they were for your information they were not born again oh they were not born again what about us 
We are born again. We are in Christ. Meaning, to na power kuliko wale. Manake Christ is the power of God in us. Anybody hearing my voice, you carry the power of God. You carry the power of God. Manake Christ is the power of God. Anytime you speak, that power in a man fests. Anytime you pray, that power in a man face. If you pray, power in a man face. And you receive the healing of God. Hello. Mfarme kasema kwa mba inamini sasa nione. They declared no way. No way. This is sweet. Ah. Kabu wacha tuone kana koba ni ukweli. Tuwana kana koba mutai na ama. They said no. Cannot. Woo. Naraka tuangaria verse number 16. 17, 18. Mane kuna mbabo siti ya metajwa pale. There are six things you need to understand in that verse. Those three verses there are six things you wanna fuck understand. Kuna mbabo siti ya unafaw understand there. Ah, mfalme aliwaambia, hebu angalie verse nikusomee. <laughs> Pusho ya mwisho ikimalizia chapter number 3 verse number 15. Then what God will then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand. Ni Mungu gani ambaye atamtoa kwa mikono yangu? Can you imagine? Nabukanezer kuna ambia kwamba hakuna Mungu atamtoa kwa mkono wangu. Hakuna. No one. Hakuna naweza mtua kwa mikono yangu. Even if you're of Korea. Ah. <laughs> na watu hapa wanatangaza mambo hapa. But nataka unisikize hii verse iko hapa. Very important. Hii verse verse number 16. Verse number 16. Mimi nasema kwamba Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego replied to the king. Woo! They replied to the king. Wakamwambia, "O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter." Hey, cool, cool. Imagine nasema kwamba we do not need to defend ourselves in this matter. Nisikize. They knew. Yakoba si wao wanajirinda. Mungu anawalinda. Na mimi nimekuja kuambia watu bado nisikiza. God is your protection. God is your shield. He is your shield. He is a wall of fire around you. Any demonic arrows mipango ya shetani kwa maana atapanga mipango ya ibrisi kwa maisha yako mipango ya wachawi ma astrologers ambao watajaribu kukupangia mambo ili ushe can i tell you shabakoza rababanda god is your shield <coughs> that's it he is your shield asema kwamba we don't need to defend ourselves in this matter <laughs> they knew and they were ni nani wacha nikwambie Mungu ndiye anakulinda usiku na mchana anakulinda unapotembea anakulinda unapofanya kazi analinda maisha yako that's it wakati unainukiwa analinda maisha yako wakati unasema vibaya analinda maisha yako wakati watu wanataka uliwe Mungu analinda maisha yako. Wakati watu wanataka biashara ishe, Mungu analinda maisha yako. Wakati umeibiwa, hey, nisikize, God is still God. He is your father in your life. New white. New white. This is a message. Hata harikiwa ngumu, they were not afraid of fire. Don't be afraid of the situations. Don't be afraid of the circumstances. Zile utapitia in life. Don't be afraid of the battles. Zile ziko hapa. Kwa sababu you're born again, you're born of God. Don't be afraid. Usiogope. Don't be afraid ya kwamba kuna watu wanasema utarogwa. Don't be afraid of chawi. 
Don't be afraid of curses, my sister. Don't be afraid of curses. Oh, at Wakikurani, don't be afraid. You have God as your shield. You have God as your cover. You have God as your salvation. Salvation is a person. Jesus Christ is your salvation. Salvation in Greece is soteria. Soteria means deliverance. To preserve in Amanda Kamatano, it means deliverance. Meaning Jesus Christ, He has your deliverance. Mfarma likuwa nauriza huu deliver you kutoka kwa mikono yangu Hakuna fikiri kwa mba akiwa shika kwa mikono Hakuna ta watuwa kwa mikono But I have come to declare today Kire kime kushika wana ni magodwa Wana ni dotomaya kunaya mbao na wezo Wakukua kwa kutuwa kwa hiyo mikono He is our deliverance Jesus is our deliverance Zobo shabalamana Jesus is your deliverance. Wakati watu wanaishiwa. Wakati watu wanakufa mioyo. Tazama Mungu. Look unto Jesus. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Ameanzia lazima tamalizia. He is in you. He is in Manuel. God with us. Hauta kufa. Wena una growth. Hauta kufa. Wena una cancer. Hauta kufa. Come on. Ah, may the power in you manifest. That's why we pray. Anytime you pray the power in you in a manifest. Then you are healed. All the promises of God. They are yes and amen in Christ. And you are in Christ. Meaning you are inside the fulfilled promises. Because of your hearing. Anybody hearing my voice and you're sick, receive your hearing right now. Anybody hearing my voice, receive your hearing right now. And maybe you are attacked by issues. Receive your deliverance because Christ is your deliverance in Jesus' name. What is the We don't need to defend ourselves in this matter. They were not afraid of the king or, or they were not afraid of the fire. What do you mean? Verse 17. Uh, if, if we are if we are thrown into a bracing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from eight. Ukituweka kwa moto, the God we serve, he is able. And I have this message. He is able to save. He is able. He is able. He is able. Nisikize, he is able, regardless of what you are going through, he is able. Regardless of the battles, he is able. You've been crying all night. God is able to deliver you and save you from that situation. He is able to save your marriage. He initiated marriage. He will protect that marriage. He is able to protect your children. He is able. He is able to protect you from even falling. Cannot fall. He is there to protect you. He is there to protect even that vision that you have. Our Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they told the king, the God we serve is able to deliver us from the fire. So we are not afraid of the fire. The God we serve is able to deliver us from the fire. Maybe you're passing through fire. Yeah. malaba. The issues iko kama moto kwako. Kuna magodi iko kama moto kwako. Biashara imekuwa moto kwako. 
Dua yako imekuwa moto kwako. But I have a prophetic word for you. The God we serve who is our father, who died for us and who was raised for our justification. He is able to save you from that fire. He is able to save you from that disease. He is able to save you. Come on. Kwanza declare akakaroka zobo shalaba. Declare you are saved, you are delivered. He is able to deliver. He is able. He is able. He is able. He is able. That's it. Ah, shama mama robo shana. He is your hope of glory. That's it. That's it. Haya mambo naangalia na kwamba haya mambo ni magumu kwangu. He is your hope. Very very important. He is your hope. I know kuna watu ambao right now wanaomboleza they are crying. Wana shida nini nitafanya? But I have a word for you tonight. What he said my he is able to skize the bukenaza. We do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown in the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it and he will rescue us from your hand O oh king. King alikuwa anauliza king, nani ambaye atamuokoa? King alikuwa anauliza, nani ambaye atamuokoa kutoka mikono yangu? By the decree to the king, the God we serve, atatuokoa kutoka kwa moto na atatuokoa kutoka kwa mikono yako. Not only kwa moto, but also kwa mikono yako. I don't know uko kwa mikono ya nani today, but I will tell you Mimi nasema kwamba Mungu wa Rabu ameshika kwa mikono yake. Hakuna atakaye watoa mahali pale. They declare that. Look at this now. But even if he does not, we want you to know, King. <laughs> All garashaka o oh king that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of God you have set up. Can you imagine? Now listen to me kutoka hapa tumesoma kuna mambo sita we can see there are six things we can see those three verses there are six things we can see number one, the, conf- the confession they made the confession they made confession they made walikiri Mungu God they confessed God kwa that situation they confessed God Vinyo vyo haviku angalia hali they confessed god confession they confessed god that's it hadi kwa kuna moto alisema the god the god so they confessed god na kwa kila situation confess god hey, hey. remember confession is a hormonal dia saying what he is saying they confessed god Hawakuwa na moto waliona Mungu. Hawakuwa na mfalme waliona Mungu. Hawakuwa go pahari waliona Mungu. They confessed God. Confession. They confessed God. That's it. Let me ask you. In that situation, do you confess God? Speak God. Wacha kinywa chako kiongee Kristo. Usiongee kushindwa. Usionge kulemewa. No. <laughs> Speak God. Wala mbona nifuatilie kuna time hapa nilikuja. Na nikaongea juu ya Jefida. Hao nisikize juu ya Jefida. Wala mbona juu story in Judges 12. A very interesting story there. Wakati tulikuwa napigana na 
<laughs> Watu wa Giriat. Nako nisikiza unielewe hapa. Ah, si Giriat walikuwa napiga na watu wa Ephraim, Ephraimite. Kao nielewe hapa. Oh, <laughs> I like this. Bible inasema kwamba kulikuwa na Jordan before them. Na ukija pale kwa mtu ulikuwa naulizwa wewe ni wa Giriat or wewe ni wa Ephraim ukidaganya ukisema kwamba wewe ni wa Giriat unaulizwa una kwamba lazima upronounce the word Shiboreth wala bwana kumbuka nilielezea hayo mambo hapa unabuka kwamba sema Shiboreth but watu wa bwana wa Ephraim <laughs> Very interesting by the angle of that verse manake nataka uone kitu kiko pale ili nikuendeshe usiwe ikini Ah Judges chapter number 12 Judges chapter number 12 Ukiangalia verse number 5 verse number 5 ili u cross over Jordan Kuna Ephraimite na Gileadite ukija ukirizo pale Jordan ili u cross over to the other side uliko na urizo wewe ni wa Ephraim au wa Gilead wewe ukisema wewe ni wa Gilead na ni wa Ephraim na mkoba pronounce word Shiboreth if wewe ni wa kutoka Ephraim hauko unaweza ku pronounce Shiboreth uliko unasema Shiboreth Shiboreth but watu wa wa Gilead waliko unasema Shiboreth watu wa Gilead wanasema Shiboreth watu wa Ephraim wanasema Shiboreth Ukisema Shiboreth una cross over Jordan una cross over to the other side Ukisema Shiboreth unauliwa pale So ku pronounce this was heavy Uki pronounce to the right way <laughs> See by training it is the nature if one wa Gilead nature yako ni ya Gilead wao kutoka Gilead hautangangana kusema Shiboreth But watu wao tangangana wasema si si watasema Shiboreth That's it. Why? Manake Shibareth means the branch. Shibareth means the branch. Who is the branch? Jesus. So if you cross over to the other side, you will have to confess Jesus. Ukidikere Jesus una cross over Jordan. River of judgment, river of death. Una cross over Jordan by declaring with your mouth, by confessing Jesus. Shibareth. Jesus. Once you see Jesus, you cross over but in instead of saying shiboreth eh <laughs> na utamke shiboreth shiboreth means burdens mazito it is mizigo ni watu ambao wanaona situations ukisema situations burdens you were killed ulikuwa na kufa gada but ukisema shiboreth the branch jesus Woo! Hey! Hey! La cora que za baka. But then the name Shibra also means rain, mvua, and rain speaks of the word. So wakati unasema Shibra, you are saying Jesus, you are saying word. Then you cross over to the side. Ukisema si si Shibra, unasema bad as mizigo going to die. Wakati kuna COVID-19 Wacha kinywa chako kisijae COVID-19. Wacha kinywa chako kijae Jesus. Confess Jesus na kinywa chako. Confess Jesus, speak God, speak Jesus. Wakati mambo ni mazito, speak Jesus. Wakati mambo ni magumu, speak Jesus. So Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they confessed God. That's number one. Hey. hey. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Number two. Kwa those verses we can see possession. Possession. We can see confession. They confessed God. But at two we can see possession. They possessed God. And I say the God our God, the God. <laughs> our God. When I say our God. Our God. Walikuwa na identify na Mungu our God our God not just confession but possession Mungu ni wao our God our God 
wanajiidentify na Mungu our God ni Mungu wetu possession wame possess Mungu ni wao confession possession our God wanasema our God <laughs> that's possession wana possess Mungu our God that's another thing you can see there Number three, there is consecration. Consecration. Whom we serve. Woo! Hey, hey. Whom we serve. Whom we serve is consecration. Wametengwa kuserve Mungu. Number one is confession. They are confessing God. Number two is possession. They are possessing God, our God. Number three is consecration. Whom we serve. Consecration. Wametengwa for that purpose. Wana declare hivyo. Very important. Wana declare hivyo. <laughs> ah. Angalia number four is separation. Separation. Unasema, we will not serve thy gods. We will not serve thy gods. So we will be separated. Si tunatumikia Mungu tofauti na wenu. So we are separated. We are not like you. That speak of separation. Wanajitenga na wao. We will serve thy gods. That's separation. They are separated. Na miungu yao. That's separation. Mesema na bwana is confession. You confess. In every situation, confess God. Number two is possession. Him. Ni wako. Number three is consecration. Umetengwa to serve. Number four is separation. We will not have thy gods. Number five is assurance. 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 They are assured of what? Our God is able. Assurance. Our God is able. Assurance. Our God is able. Woo! Our God is able. They are sure of their God. They are not guessing. Wanajua. Hey! He is able. Surance, by the way. Then the last one. Restoration. Restoration. We will not worship God and image. We will not worship golden image we will not worship golden image we will not worship golden image Resort, resort. they decided wakamua hatutabudu image that's it takasauni tegena unifuate and because of that ah bible inasema moto kaongezwa mara saba <laughs> Mara sabu kongezo moto. Follow me closer now. Moto kongezo mara saba. We in Daniel chapter number three. Aka kasirika wakati wali tamka himo. Wakati wame declare confession. Possession, consecration. Separation. <laughs> Jesus, are you hearing me? Separation assurance. Na za resolution yao. Then mfarmu waka kasirika sama. Moto wongezwe mara saba. Ah, na moto kongezo mara saba. Ili wawekwe pale ndani. Madoledo wame confess. But don't forget this. It's very very important to know this. Tango nisikize. Nisikize. Confession yao abawa remake. Mark this. In a connect number mawiri. The confession they made. In a connect number mawiri. The power of God. He is able. Excuse me. When I say he is able. So confession yao. When they connect na power ya mungu. He is able. When I do the power of God. He is able. Confession yao. He is able. Not only that. When they connect na will of God. Number one, confession when you connect the power of God, he is able. Then number two, confession yao, when I connect the will of God. When I connect the will of God, that's when I say, ma, ata asipo tuwakoa. 
ako na uwezo kutuokoa but hata asipo tuokoa so wana connect confession yao na will of god la shoba razaraba when they connect na power of god na siri when they connect na will of god ako na uwezo wa kuokoa that power but hata hazipo asipo asipo okoa will of god still hawata inamia that image manake confession hiyo tu una make lazima understand the power of god and the will of god the power of god and the will of god the power of god and the will of god very important the power of god and the will of god hallelujah praise god are we together niambie amen if tuko pamoja hapo Yes. Taka unisikize. This is very important. Moto ukaongezwa mara saba. Bwana sema kwamba wakafungwa. I believe for ifungwa mikono wakafungwa mpaka miguu. <laughs> Bali kuna kitu kinanijenga hapa. Bwana sema kwamba they had their turbans. Na walikuwa na robe. Robe ilikuwa ni ya blue. Nataka unitegee. Shadaka Mishek na Bendego walifungwa mikono yao. Mark that. Hey. Woo! Alafu hawakuvuliwa nguo zao. No. Walikuwa na robe na taban. Kichwa chao kilikuwa na viremba. White. Meaning what is speaks of righteousness. Kumaanisha kwamba mawazo yao yalikuwa ni utakatifu they are covered by the righteousness of God kwa mawazo yao maana kirima bana taban kwa old testament was a picture that's why ilikuwa ni white was a picture of the helmet the righteousness kwa mawazo tunapokea receiving the mind of God that's why ni taban ya white righteousness mind of God then kuna robe robe ni ya blue speaks of grace or heaven Maneka Brook Bible speaks of grace or heaven. Maneka the word Brook in Hebrew means lion or grace. Noar roka ze garasha baranda. Maana sema kwamba wakiwe kwa kwa moto walikuwa na robe zao, robe zao. Robe zao. Na kusema kwa baba wana mix na robe zikuwa za Brook. Hello. Oh. So Brook speaks of grace. Bruce speaks of Ryan. Man, the word Bruce means Ryan in Hebrew. Bruce speaks of heaven. So if wakona hey, 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 robe, so they are covered by heaven. They are covered by Ryan and by grace of God. Hata wakifungwa mikono yao, they have the grace of God, robe of blue. Hata wakifungwa miguu yao, they have the grace of God, robe of blue. Nitagae Unaweza nifunga habari huwezi funga na mwana ndani yangu. You may try kuleta situation zinafunga my business. Situation zinaweza funga my family, but I want to tell you something. Ah, I am born of heaven, I have brew in me. <laughs> I am born from above. I am above all. I still have my robe. Christ I am clothed with Christ in the new testament we are clothed with Christ man like Christ is our robe in the new testament called the testament they have those robes but the new testament Christ is our robe Woo! Hey, hey, hey. so what you kwa moto na nguo zao white kwa kichwa righteousness kwa mind na wakafungwa <laughs> But let me tell you Let me tell you something let me tell you something Ah I brief on Nebuchadnezzar how come me some Isaiah for three verse 2 <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar how come me some Isaiah for three verse number 2 Hey, hey. Yakobo mtapita ndani ya maji hayatambeba. 
ya kwamba mtapita ndani ya moto na moto hautamchoma Isaiah 43 verse 2 Nabu hako anajua that verse Yakobo anaweza weka mtu kwa moto Come on reha rozara Riko zebekere bazaya but moto hawezi mchoma hako anajua that verse Hako anajua kwamba frictions zile zinakuja kwetu they are not there to destroy us sina kuja tu refine us <laughs> mambo mazito nakuja test zinakuja for testimonies hey la cause be shala mayanda get that so anybody hearing my voice maybe you're going through issues through circumstances barbama nazitumia to refine you That's it. Glory to Jesus. Takonitege. Baba nazitumia to refine you. La cosa bagari boshanda. Ah, listen to me. Isaiah 48 verse 10. Kria. Moto unakuja to refine you. Like God. If your job never isema, alisema naweza pitia haya mambo nimepitia. Job 23 verse number 10. But na kuwa refined kama God. God na kuwa refined na moto. So kinitupa kwa moto, moto hauwezi niagamiza. By the way, utani benefit, utani refine. <laughs> That's it. Moto utani refine. That's the message. Now listen to me. Now nitege hapa. Na unisikize hapa. Wakati waliwekwa pale kwa moto. This one is very important. This one is very important. Listen to this. Walikuwa wamefungwa mikono yao. Na wale watomboni kwa naweka kwa moto ni watomboa na nguvu. Watomboa waweka kwa moto hiyo moto eh ili wachoma wakafa. Get that. Ili wachoma wakafa wala bodi kwa naweka kwa moto. <coughs> Listen to me now. Listen to that now. Wala bodi kwa kwa naweka kwa moto walitomeka na moto. That's it. Hao ndio walikufa. Usipangia mtu ambaye ana Mungu jobu ishe. Unaweza sikia kwamba ni yako imeisha. Usipangia mtu familia yake iharibike. Maneke ile shimo na chima unaweza anguka we mwenyewe. Na Bible says God has not mocked what you sow you reap. Unaweza chimbia mtu shimo, uanguke hiyo shimo. Unaweza staki mtu kwa mkubwa. Yule mkubwa aona wewe ni mwongo. Then aseme kwamba utafanya kazi pale. Mahali walikuwa namweka kwa moto. Wao ambao walikuwa na alako ze shalabazana. Audio walichomeka. Imagine. Ai. Baraye dango, nisikize manake. I want to declare this now. I want to declare this now. Hey, hey, hey. Lord God, thank you for this. Thank you for this now. Look at this. Akalia Daniel 3 now. Angalia Daniel 3 now. Look at this. <laughs> ah. Angalia Daniel chapter number 3. Verse 21. So the three men were wearing robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes. Ah, we are bowed and thrown in the blessing furnace. Verse number 22. The kings commanded so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Verse 23. Eh, kafura dogo na dazet. E covenant of clear covenant wangamiza. Ni sisi tunaiagamiza. Ha ha ha. Woo! 
Hey, that's it. Kile kinafikiria yale magonjwa nafikiria atakuangamiza ndio atangamia. Imagine wamewafunga. Kakao. Unafunga watu wanabudu Mungu hao. Na acha niseme kile kitu kimekufunga. Kila hali imekaa imekufunga. I have a word for you. Listen to this. <laughs> they tried to kufunga Samson. And I remember see the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon Samson. Na ziri kama zika katika zika melt. Manake mtu ambaye ana Holy Spirit awezi mfunga. Manake Holy Spirit in him lazima atafungua. Kila kifungo hakina power kwa mtu ambaye ana Holy Spirit. Listen to my word. Wale ambao wamejaribu kufunga your business, they don't have power over you. Kile kifungo zile kama zinakatika. That's it. Listen to this. <laughs> Then the three men these three men from retired fell into the bracing furnace. Look about. Ah. Verse 24. Verse 24. I like this one. I like this one. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement. Hey. And asked his advisors. Weren't there are three men that were tied up and threw into the fire? Sisi ni watu, si tuliweka watu watatu pale ndani ya moto. Aliangalia kwa moto. Akastuka. Can I tell you? Wale ambao nafikiria kama utaisha watastuka. Hata wachawi watastuka. Hata iluminati watastuka. Hata shetani atastuka. Ana mapepo atastuka. Yakifikiria kwamba utaisha ndani ya moto. Yanachukia kwamba <laughs> una operate na Isaiah 43 verse number 2. Joy in the fire, but already walking in the fire. Hey! Wakati walitupwa kwa moto, then mfano yule ambaye aliona watupoe, Mungu akahakikisha ni yeye atatoa testimony yeye mwenyewe. Aka testify. Anasema si tuliweka watu watatu tumewafunga, bali naona ndani ya moto. <laughs> but ndani ya moto hawajafungwa in the fire hawajafungwa zile kama zetu hawajaomba zifunguke wakati mwatupa pale kama zetu zimetomwa na moto zikadisapia maana hakuna kifungo kita succeed kwa maisha yako i want to declare may all your enemies confess eh hey, shabora karaba akastuka asema tulitupa watu watatu na sasa hivi ni wanne <laughs> Ebu angalia. <laughs> Woo! Nisikize. Angalia Ramadhani nisikize. Verse number 25 he said, "Look, look. Look. Tazama, ona." <laughs> Angaweza kumwambia lazima watatazama. Ah, watatazama your marriage again. Waliata ikiwa kwa moto wataitazama again. Waliata biashara yako ikiwa kwa moto wataitazama again. Ah, waliata ukilia watakutazama again. Look, I see four men walking around in the fire. They in the fire, but they are walking in the fire. Can I tell you? Sisi ni watu ambao we walk in the fire. The fire cannot stagnate us. The fire cannot limit us. We still walk in the fire. We may be in the fire of COVID-19, but we walk in the fire. <laughs> Tunaweza kuwa kuna issues, but we are still walking. Can I tell you, you still walk in the fire. <laughs> People may be against you, but you are still walking. They may raise against your business, but you still walking. Sema kwa ma, ni mfalme na confess they are walking. They thought you're coming to be stagnated. They thought you're coming you're going to die. But I want to declare this, they are going to see you again walking. They are going to see your business walking again. Marriage is you're walking again. Nimekuja kutangaza kama nabii usiku wa leo because of God you are walking again. Wamekufunga, usitembee. Mara hii declare baba naondoa kifungo na una walk again. Watoto wako wanatembea tena. 
Kwa ile area unaona kwamba nikana kwamba ulikuwa umefungwa. Remember ulikuwa umefungwa mikono na miguu wasitembee ili wakianguka kwa moto watomeke. Bali walipoanguka kama zikakatika then wakatembea kwa moto. May you walk in that situation. Madhamao alikuwa anatembea kwa moto hivi. Madhamao alikuwa anatembea kwa moto. Hey! The fire cannot kill you. The fire cannot kill you. But in the fire, they are going to testify about your God. In the fire, they are going to testify. They have seen your God. Hadi sema namna gani Nebukadnezar kuna kitu alisema I see four men walking around in the fire and bowed and unharmed. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. There was a fourth person. So in the fire there was a fourth man who appeared in the fire. Jesus appeared in the fire. They saw Jesus in the fire. Nebuchadnezzar saw Jesus in the fire. Can I tell you? They are going to see Jesus in that situation. Jesus you serve. They will see that Jesus. You may be sick in the hospital. But they will see Jesus. I declare in that situation. May there be manifestation of the fourth man. In that disease. May there be manifestation of the fourth man. Ah ha 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 Ah, Roshega Ramazanda. This is very important. Kimani Jane, this is very important. Very, very, very important. Don't miss this. Kutoka kwa hizo vasi ni mesoma mbili. Kuna babu matatu nataka kukuonyesha hapo. <laughs> Kuna babu matatu nataka ni kuonyesha hapo. Three things nataka ni kuonyesha hapo. Three things. Taka ni kuonyesha hapo. Three things. Number one. Nisikize. Woo. Hey, hey. Kozibu shini barabazana. Uh, na utaku nisikize na unirewe hapa. Number one. Mabu matodo na taka ni tati hapa. Number one. They receive, they enjoy their freedom in the fire. Yes. They enjoy the freedom in the fire. Freedom in the fire. Manake waliweko kwa moto wakiwa wamefungwa na hawawezi tembea. Lakini kile ambacho waliigizwa ndani kiwa uwe ndicho sasa kili waweka huru so they enjoyed freedom in the fire that's why wakati Nebuchadnezzar aliwaona aliona kwamba they are free and they are walking kwa hivyo aliona wakiwa free they enjoyed freedom in the fire manake in every situation you still enjoy the freedom of Christ Ata mambo ya kuwa mazito you will still enjoy the freedom of Christ. Ana kukuwa na vita you will still enjoy the freedom of Christ. Ah. May you enjoy the freedom. They enjoy the freedom in the fire. Ha ha ha. Ah. That's why they were walking in the fire. That's why hawakuwa wamefungwa in the fire. Manake wakati for the man alikuja. The third man, the third man, the third man was their freedom. Can you listen to me? The third man was their freedom. The third man was their deliverance. 
So there is no way they can have the fourth man. And they remain bowed. There is no way they can have the fourth man. No, I remain a kwamba and they cannot walk. As long as you have the fourth man, you are going to walk. As long as you have the fourth man, you are free. And guess what? You are carrying the fourth man. And because of the fourth man, enjoy your freedom right now. May your marriage enjoy freedom. Why? Christ is your freedom. He is your fourth man. Sarah. Sarah. Hey. hey. Can I tell you, because of the fourth man, always a fungwa. Na kila kifungwa kilikuwa kina jaribu kukamata, kina disappear because of the fourth man. You still enjoy your freedom ata kukiwa na COVID-19. Christ is your freedom in you. That's it. Can you hear this, Mary Nyamura? Number two. Number two. Hey. Woo. They enjoy the fellowship of the fourth man in the fire. <laughs> ah, they enjoy the fellowship of the fourth man in the fire. Number one, what you wakiwa hawaja fungwa. Freedom. Number two, what you wakitembea. You see, the two cannot work together unless they agree. Can you hear this? The two cannot work together unless they agree. So if they were walking in the fire, meaning what you may agree in the fire. So they were having fellowship in the fire. They were having fellowship with the fourth man in the fire. Not only freedom, but also fellowship. That's why they were walking together. Because two cannot walk together unless they agree. Meaning, they were enjoying fellowship. Woo! Hey! Can I tell you? Atta kukiwa na magodwa, you still enjoy fellowship with Christ. Ha 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 ha! Yako raze ha! Hey, show magara mazo pikana. Ata wakati kuna magodo kwa familia, you still enjoy the fellowship of Jesus. So in the fire, Jesus hakuwa acha. In the fire, Jesus had a fellowship in our wow. Manake and a fellowship in our sufferings. My boy says we don't have, we do not have high priests. <laughs> hey, but in the same we have high priests. Ambaya rijaribiwa. Na madaribu kama yale ambayo unajaribuwa na ayo. Ali fellowship na wao kwa suffering. Manake Jesus who is our fire. Who is our, who is our father. <laughs> Wakati uko kwa shida hakuachi. And a fellowship na wewe. Ako na wewe. Fellowship in the suffering. They were working together. They were working together. Why? Walikuwa may agree. Na wana agree when? Wakati wakodani ya moto. Manaka even in the fire. She the sun manifest in the fire. Na una fellowship na eko fire. Na muna agree na eko fire. Na muna walk na eko fire. Hey hey. <laughs> Evidence Michael can you hear this? Hey hey. Jesus. You cannot afford to miss this one. Uh, in that situation you are in, can I tell you, he is with you. He is with you. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. That's it. <laughs> I like this. Ina ipenda sana. Angalia nao. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Hey. They were given new opportunity. 
to serve. They were given the opportunity to serve. Wari pewa opportunity gine umpi ya kuendere na kusavu. That's it. Wari pewa opportunity ya kusavu. Wari pewa opportunity ya kusavu. They were given the opportunity to serve. That's why king. Arisema na mnagani. Verse number 26. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blessing furnace. And they shouted. King shouting. Shouted. Akasema na mnagani. Shadrach. Mishek. And Abednego. Servants. Come on. Servants of the most high God. Come out. Come here. Can you hear that? The king. Amejua mungu wao. Amewaiti. Amejua kwamba. Hawabudu miungu. Amo imetenganezwa. Hawabudu false image. They worship true image. That's why I wait as a servant of the most high God. And I confess to your God now. And I declare to you that the Lord is the most high God. Is your God. Can I tell you? In this situation, may all your enemies confess to your God. And I believe right now, even with COVID-19, all enemies of the church, they will confess. That God is the most high God. That's it. Sama come out. Can you hear that voice? Come out. Can you hear that? Come out. Then we are told to come out. Jure mbeli sema wengizo mahali pale. Ni ye mungu wali tumie kusema watolewe pale. Manaka hili mbeli sema kwa mwatisho hiyo kazi. It's the same person. Ata sema waziriwe. Yule mbali sema kwamba umekataliwa. Is the same person anasema kwamba wewe umekubalika. The same person ambaye anasema kwamba wewe si mrembo. The same person atakuja kwa ndoa yako na anasema kwamba wewe ni mrembo. The same person ambaye anasema kwamba wewe utakufa. Is the same person anasema kwamba utaishi. Ah. The same person ambaye anasema kwamba wewe haumwabudu Mungu. The same same person anasema kwamba unaabudu the most high God. The same same Nebuchadnezzar ambaye alisema kwamba uingizwe ndani ya moto. Is the same same man ambaye alisema kwamba watolewe, watoke ndani ya moto. I want to declare you are coming out of that situation. I have come to declare right now. Come out of that situation. Come out right now. Tonight somebody is coming out. Tonight somebody is coming out. Somebody is coming out of fire. Hey, somebody is coming out of cancer tonight. Somebody is coming out of the righteous tonight. Somebody is coming out of growth tonight. Somebody is coming out of diabetes tonight. Somebody is coming out of HIV, out of COVID. Come out right now. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Alalala shalabolo zore alanda. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Yule kijana ambaye alikukataa kwa sababu hauna kitu. Mimi atakuja kukutafuta kama maana umepata kitu. The same msichana ambaye alikukataa hauna kitu. The same atakuja kusema kama unaumebarikiwa. Sera. Sera. <laughs> Ai. 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 <laughs> Woo! Jesus. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego come out. Evangelist Michael come out. Maggie come out. Monica come out now. Kwa hiyo issue na kusumbua come out. It is over. Ah, ume win the battle. Come out. You are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Kuna watu ambao hawaja wale wa for so long. You are coming out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Kuna watu ambao wamekuwa stagnant for so long. You are coming out in Jesus name. Hey, hey. Come out and come here. Come out and come here. Come out and come here. There was a turn around. Remember already wanaomboleza watu ambao wamekufa. 
I don't know kana kwamba walikuwa wamewazika. Maybe walikuwa hapo kwa sababu mimi nasema kwamba kuna watu wao walikuwa wamekufa. Oh hawakuingizwa ndani ya moto walikaribia moto tu ni kutupa watu wengine. But hawa wako ndani ya moto. Akawaita come out. And I like this part. Moses then Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego came out of the fire. They came out of the fire. Can you hear that? They came out of the fire. They came out of the fire. You are coming out. Tonight you are coming out. Your business is coming out. Your marriage is coming out. Your children are coming out. Come out. Reko zabagaribo shaka. Auna kazi you are coming out. Listen to me now. Ha ha ha. Ah, umetengwa. You are coming out. Hey. The Bible says they came out. Ah, you are coming out in Jesus name. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are coming out. My jokaraba zaibushana. Yes. This is a prophetic night. I say this is a prophetic night and declare this word prophetically. You are coming out of that situation. You are coming out of that situation. Who am I speaking to now? You are coming out of that situation. Yes. <laughs> you are coming Pietro, you are coming out. You are coming out right now. You are coming out right now. <laughs> Umekuwa na madeni for so long. You are coming out of that sahaya. Losha magari moze karama zanaga. Eh, unadharauriwa, but you are coming out. Hey, oh, oh. They are coming out right now. Hey, kuna your relative from hospital and akuja right now and atoka. He's coming out right now. Jesus. May that word man face in your life right now. I say may that word man face in your life in Jesus mighty name. Ah, the Bible says wakubwa watu walikuwa wamegather. Governors walikuwa wamegather. This was a testimony for governors. It was a testimony for councillors. It was a testimony for all nations. 127 nations. All of them. Imagine. Kukawa kuna testimony. I brief newspaper during the nation. That those days. Zikuwa zinadika. Three men came out of fire. Manaka zikuwa zinadika pale juu. Zina testify. Vini walitomoka kwa moto. And they were not harmed. Walitoka. Gazeti. Zika. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know in that situation? How to keep it no, Baba nakupia another opportunity to serve. This is not the end of you. COVID is not the end of you. You have another opportunity to serve. You have another opportunity to live. You have another opportunity to preach Christ. You are coming out of COVID-19. You are coming out. I say it again. We are coming out of COVID-19. We are not going to die. Our relatives are not going to die. Our children are not going to die. Yes, we are coming out of COVID-19. Maroga rasa rea lo zerea anda. Reketele hazo bikandi because reesha marivanda. We are coming out. We are coming out. We are coming out. Glory to Jesus. Hey, hey. But I thank God the Bible says, while my governors, my royal devices about to come a crowd there. God and a fan to a crowd. And look at this. The Bible says they saw. I like that. The Bible says they saw that fire had not harmed their bodies. They saw. They saw. <laughs> Once they came out. What were more what are come hari pale governors, prefects, advisors, they saw. They saw. And they brief even nations, they will see Kenya coming out. 
They will see even so the earth, even South Africa coming out. They will see Kenya coming out of this COVID-19. They will see Kenya coming out. They will say they saw you come the fire. Do not harm their bodies. They are going to see. We are still strong. They are going to see. We are still praising God. They are going to see. They saw. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Can I tell you? All those who were against you, they will see. They are called God. God is your father. They saw that. Bible says they saw that the fire. No was the hair of their heads sign seed. Imagine. At a new LA, as it was in a chomwa, Nata win a smokeba, how I kuana nuka hata moshi. I could kuana sign a combo coco fire. Manaka when God delivers you, I kuna kapat kanachua. I put an auto book on a vidonda. But Baba and I said, Do hit your kidonda, Nakusieto Paka Mac. So I couldn't make it yet to come with it to a cocoa fire. No. I couldn't have a moshe to a cocoa fire. He delivered them completely. Complete deliverance. Tonight, may you enjoy that. What on a good curriculum? Who you? A man called Godwa. How are me? Manaka hauna moshi. Hawa hauna ska. That's it. That's it. I thank God for this. Ata nguo zao. Kile kuliko kime wakava. Nguo zao haziku chomeka. Imagine. I thank God for this. Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel, rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any God except their own God. Verse 29, Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be cut into pieces and their houses be turned into piles of rumble. For no other God can save. No other God. No other God can save in this way. The king then promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. The king confessed. Yekomba, they trusted in God. Amesema, they trusted in God. Nakatuma enjo, our delivery. Nakasema kwa, yuni matachezea mungu wao, atawriwa, adikri ya kayatiria. Asema kwa, hakuna mungu amena yaza wakua hivi. Hakuna mungu mingina yaza wakua hivi. And I have this message, nikimalizia. Hakuna mungu ambaya na yaza, hakuna mungu mingine. Hakuna mungu mingine, ina yaza wakua kama wa God. Hakuna miungu migine inawezo wakoa kama wa God. Then after that test, they were promoted. Manaka after every test, there is a promotion. After every test, there is a promotion. Let me say it again. After every test, there is a promotion. After every test, there is a promotion. They were promoted. Na mfamu kakili, hakuna mungu na zaokoa this way. And let me tell you, after COVID-19, many people at the door, hakuna na yaokoa kama mungu. Hakuna na yaokoa kama mungu. Hakuna na yaokoa kama mungu. Hakuna, 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 duniani, binguni, kote, hakuna after this. After COVID-19, 
Let me tell you. Let me tell you. There is a promotion. There is a revival. There is an explosion. Spirit explosion. To explode spiritually. Hakuna. Then they were promoted. Let me tell you. The reason why you're going through that. There is a promotion before you. Glory be to Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Daniel chapter number 3. Tomorrow, Daniel chapter number 4. Woo! <laughs> Tomorrow, Tomorrow, don't miss. Yes, I agree. So I agree with you. What wings are now in Okoka? So many of them. Baba Kariga Dina Takatifra Bana Isukru. So Tuna Kupa Sifa. Komana we hakuna kamawe buana. Akuna mungu anayokoa kamawewe. Akuna mungu na etenda mi uchiza kamawewe buana. Akuna mungu baba mwingine. Ha <laughs> ha. baba. Ah, anajua yote kamawewe. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end, O Lord. Niwe uliokoa. Shada kamisha kena benego toa kwa moto. Kuna watobo na nisikiza baba. Na wakodani ya COVID-19. Kuna watobo na nisikiza baba. Wakodani ya moto wa cancer. Father, I declare they are coming out in Jesus' mighty name. They are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Tangaza familia zimefungwa Baba zina kombole watu night Maisha ya watu mbao wa melemewa They are coming out Watu mbao na liyo father They are coming out Jesus name Watu mbao father wakona growth Iyo growth ina disappear right now Iyo growth ima disappear right now father Iyo growth ima disappear Baba diabetes ima disappear Isho zigine komiris ima disappear Migu baba join zao mikono Hata shingo hata ko Hata macho baba Mambo ya na wakaria baba ya me disappear right now Ya me disappear in the name of Jesus Christ Right now They are coming out in Jesus name Manaka hakuna mungu wabaya na wakua kama webwana And I declare Wana receive promotion Kibia shara kifedha na kimaisha In Jesus name In Jesus name Glory be to God Princess Roma praise God So wherever you are Maybe how to pokea Christo Sema mungu Kariga jina takatifura banas Christo Nimeamini ufufuo wako na nimekiri kwa kinywa changu ya kwamba ewe Yesu ni bwana. Na kwa ndio siku leo mimi nimeokoka na mimi ni kiube kipya in Jesus name. Amen. Father thank you. Hawa miokoka. Zidi kuadumisha na watende makubwa na maajabu. Hawa hata ile mewa. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless you so much. Mungu abariki sana. Mungu azidi kumuinua. Ah. Tukutane tomorrow hapa. Aha. My number is 0726 511782. If kuna issue unataka tuiombe, call me, text me tomorrow 0726 511782. 0726 511782. Maybe you're there on a smokoba pastor. I have an offer you want to give. I want to support. I kazi na endelea. Nime jengwa sana, nime barikiwa sana. Nataka at least nisimama na ikazi ya buwana. I want us to kushukuru mwana kwa sababu menitendea through this word. Baba katika jina takatifu rabana nisikurusu. I declare kwa watu. Awata wa ikosa kwa mesha yao. Natangaza financial breakthrough. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. Jesus. Ah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wasanii wana watu ambao tumekuwa na wao. Royce Maina God bless you Mercy Queen. Monica Mhoro, Stephens, God bless you Purity. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, some of us start parents na sema kwamba shalom. Rebecca Otieno, amen. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dokas. God bless you. Ah, Karo. <laughs> Utaangalia baadaye baada hiko. Magidi oroge win maina. Bikuria. Na jana siku kwa siku kuona. Majef. <laughs> Esa Nyairera. Katerina, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Grades maina. God bless you. Ben Kim. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Apresira. Thank you. Mary Nyabura. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sana kwa rabo me share net mugai god bless you but the video me share hivyo is umebarikiwa that the grace of god is upon your life abinda god bless you monica muhoro anasema hii ni kali <laughs> anyway thaka <laughs> jendama god bless you so much uh julia karemi you are blessed yoranda ah uh, thank you thank you thank you tabitha god bless you Evangelist Michael, you're blessed. Felix. Yeah, the one is moving us. Nims, God bless you. Rudu gadu, barikiwa sana. Echo hii. Azama kwa bata, hakuna kitu ingine kusema. Azama on the word of night. Ah. I like that. Yes. So Mungu amrik sana. And we meet tomorrow. We meet tomorrow at least. Don't miss Daniel chapter number 4. Daniel chapter number 4. Don't miss this one. Thank you princess. Thank you, thank you. Princess Asamo Kobadaro was a very powerful one. Now I some maybe the love to funge we meet tomorrow in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Katerina <laughs> Thank you Nani se nani se ulikuwa umenyamaza sana Nani se okay mwa God bless you God bless you Kwa hivyo Mungu amariki sana we meet tomorrow ah uh, Daniel chapter number 4 Tomorrow. Shalom and good night.